hey guys, this is Vimeo 91, and I'm talking about game pricing. Why? Now, I do remember, I think it was with the PS4 generation, since the previous generation, aside from the Wii, had gone up to $60, whereas PS2 and Xbox games were 50 bucks, whether the games would be 70 bucks. And they weren't. They stayed at 60 bucks for two generations, aside from the Wii. But I was watching Spawner's video, and apparently 2K has already announced that the games are going to be more expensive than people think. So that tells me we're probably going up to $70. It's not that unusual. Usually game prices say go up every couple of generations. But with the Xbox and PS2 era, they went up after one generation. But that I think was because they went from SD to HD. So the games probably cost a lot more to make when you're going from making standard definition games to high definition games. That's probably one of the main reasons why the Wii game stayed the same price because they kept it at standard definition. But while I understand the reasoning why these companies probably have to go up to 70 bucks when, let's face it, most games are going to be 4K. They're going to be 4K because these are going to be 4K consoles. So these games are going to be 4K games most likely. I still don't like the fact that we got to pay 70 bucks a game now, basically, if you want it brand new. The thing about it is that that really ups it when it comes to people who want to purchase like multiple games. Like if you're just getting one game, sure, a $10 difference isn't much. But when you add it up over the amount of games you want to get, then it can turn into a lot. And the thing is that a lot of people ain't getting higher paychecks. I know it's just 10 bucks, but like I said, for gamers, this could cost a pretty penny for people who are buying more than just like one game at a time. Because the work doesn't say, hey, oh yeah, game prices went up. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more each month. Maybe 0.5% just to cover the games. No, businesses don't usually say that. So it would kind of suck, but I can see why it's necessary. And let's face it, this is what happens. Usually it happens, I think, when I say every two generations on average. But whenever games have to go up by definition, like I believe the next jump will be when games jump from 4K to 8K. So that maybe the generation after the PS5 and them, it may be not until the PS7 more likely. More likely not until the PS7, but we know these $10 jumps, they're bound to happen. They've been happening ever since the move from I think the N64 generation to the GameCube generation. So while it's expected, it still kind of sucks when it happens. Anyway, what do you guys think about games most likely going up to $70 after 2K's announcement? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and God bless you all.